Welcome back to the show. Just talking to my next guest about our, the, the two of us, how, how we have this, this love of nature and open spaces. And I think it, it's a great opening of this conversation because um, we've seen these porch fests um, really explode across the country and I would say even even globally and this particular one uh, began during COVID. It is the Osgood Porch Fest and I am joined by Ashley Koning uh, from the Osgood Porch Porch Fest. Welcome Ashley, Thank great you. to have Thank you here. You and I, I, I hope you don't mind sharing your story because I think it's a great one in that you know I, I asked you oh uh, how long have you lived in, in Osgood and you said well since 2020 and you wanted you wanted space because you, you grew up in that type of community. Right. right. So I come from northern Ontario, North Bay, and it's more of that small community, tight knit feel. And when we moved to Osgood, we knew right away that it was the right spot for us because that that village just took us in. Right away. Really? Right yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. And, and describe Osgood for, you know, for those that aren't part of that community. It really is, a, as you just mentioned, a welcoming community. Yeah. So Osgood is a small village just outside of, of Ottawa, pretty much as far south of Ottawa as you yeah. can go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, everyone there are just very open and warm and kind and considerate. You know, so as soon as we moved in, even though it was during COVID, right, November 2020, okay. neighbors still came out to say hi, introduce themselves, welcome to the neighborhood, we hope you love it here. This is what Osgood has to ha has to offer, and uh, yeah, it was just a really welcoming community. Nice, and then uh, you become uh, a bigger part of the community because you become part of a <laughs> porch fest. How did this idea come about? Yeah. So again, during COVID, kind of how a lot of these ideas start off. My husband is a musician, okay. and one of his ways of dealing with stress is by playing the guitar and singing. Uh, during COVID, one of the major lockdowns where everybody was really isolated, he would go out to the front porch, he would bring his guitar, and he would just start singing. And, and it started off just as therapy for himself. Right. And very quickly, it turned into therapy for our neighbors because they would come out on their porches and join in and clap and applaud and thank you and and it was really a great way of creating a sense of community even though we couldn't be together right and then from there my husband and I started talking about it I'm like well how can we spread this a little bit farther we have other friends that we know uh, in town who are musicians okay. and we're also lucky enough to have vibration studios which is a recording studio who has lots of links in the community and and tether to other musicians as well they wanted to join in in creating something like that okay. right so we started off with uh, six performances just kind of scattered around around Osgood um, and trying to do and being COVID safe right? right where it's like socially distant and it was acceptable we were outdoors yeah. and it was something for the community that they could do and still feel connected uh, I did not know at the time how quickly it was going to snowball really eh? <laughs> yeah okay tell so me about that we did that one in July of 2021 okay the response was immense it was huge the uh, People I don't know were coming up like, oh, are you Ashley? I heard about Porch Fest. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, so I started scheduling another one for middle of September. Uh, we got up to 21 performers. Wow. All around Osgood. We were kind of scattered everywhere. So uh, was it, the, 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 yeah. did you map it out or something? And yeah. people would just do like a tour yeah, of these yeah. so 21? The whole idea was trying to like get out of your house, go yeah. get some exercise, communicate, you know, uh, reconnect with the community again. And yeah, and then so I just kind of scheduled them pockets all over Osgood and Osgood shows up and starts <laughs> entertaining. Uh, the, the one thing I will say is that that day, we had rain and I thought for sure that's like all of our performers are okay they're underneath um, porches right, right? Okay. they're okay yeah, of course but who's gonna sit up in the rain to watch musicians I tell you Osgood showed up like nobody else no way. like with umbrellas and raincoats neighbor and... showed up with tarps started sh setting them up canopies <laughs> umbrellas just the masses and nobody asked nobody you know what I mean like yeah. it was uncoordinated they just showed up like no we're doing this and they championed it and now last 
last year we went again, we had over 30 performers, and now this year I've got over 40, so it's just <laughs> Well, and not just that, right? Then it expanded. You yeah. also have a car show as part Absolutely. of this. Tell me how, like, yeah. what does that look so, like? Again, so having great community uh, supporters. So last year we also added uh, the Osgood Youth Association joined okay. us with their block party because they wanted to join in too. Um, and then a couple of car enthusiasts wanted to join and show off their cars. So now we have a car show and a couple of local artisans wanted to join in. So now we have an artisan <laughs> vendor spot. Um, and it's just, it's totally adaptable. It's right. whatever you want to share, you're more than welcome to come to Porch Fest and share. Like that's just the whole idea behind it. Uh, and this is 100% volunteer. Absolutely. Right? Yep. Um, so as, as people started finding out, I mean, it, it it takes more than, you know, one person to set this. So now are you like a team of volunteers? There's a few of us. <laughs> uh, so actually, you know what that says to me? It's like, I'm still actually organizing it myself, Derek, and a couple of people helping me. No, no, <laughs> it, no I wouldn't be able to do it myself. That's for sure. Absolutely. Um, you know, what I loved about what you sent us, you know, in your discussion points too, mm -hmm. Ashley, is you feel that, you know, any community can, can, yeah. can do this kind of yeah. thing. And and you wanted to sort of encourage those communities Absolutely. to, you know, hey, it's it's Start not hard. Start a discussion, right? Start right. talking to it. Like, if you have something you could share, talk to somebody else who could share. It doesn't have to be music. It doesn't have to be cars or block party. It can be performers of any kind. Like, we had aerial hoop artists. We have a fusion belly dancer who comes to do a show, too. Amazing. So it's just... And you've got, what, some food vendors involved yeah. as well now? Yeah, so, so Angry Dragon's food truck is coming, and No-Go Coffee is coming as well. Amazing. Yeah. Um, when, when's it happening? How can people get involved? So June 10th, and it runs from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. now. I have to okay. stretch the day out. And have you something. got um, social media, website? Can, yeah, can people... so we're on Facebook and Instagram under Osgood Porch Fest. You'll be able to find us there. Man, I just I feel like I want to move to Osgood now. <laughs> Honestly, we're a great a, you guys are. You guys are, and you're a great part of it. Uh, Thank thanks you. so much for Thank joining you. us. Really appreciate Thank it, Ashley. Uh, as Ashley said, you know, I, I really encourage people to get out, even if you're not from Osgood. You know, go and and find out about this amazing community that that's not too far of a drive. Make a day of it. Um, porch Fest, June the 10th. Uh, various porches, of course, along Osgood Main Street, and you can visit their Facebook page to to find out more information. We'll be back to tell you about the importance of donating blood right after this. Don't go anywhere.